Darling, lunch is ready. Hello, darkness, my old friend. What is this? That's a nutritious, whole, complete meal. I hate meal replacement shakes. Let's look at a company like Huel, for example. Now, who could say no to tapioca, peas, rice, flaxseed, and sunflower seeds? That's actually my favorite way to start the day, said no one ever. Of course, this is all in my honest personal opinion, but before we dismantle why Huel is a load of crap, why don't we go to the whiteboard and understand a few things? I've never had a problem with protein shakes, but the second you put the word meal into a liquid drink, I've got a problem. So first of all, let's look at a bottle of Huel. 20 grams of protein. That is not enough. Well, maybe it's enough. Let's look at the science. When looking at an optimal split of protein throughout the day, we're looking at five feedings of 1.6 to 2.2 grams of protein. So if I use myself as an example, 94 times 1.6, minimum 150 grams of protein a day, divided by five, is 30 grams. That means my bare minimum amount of protein that I can consume on a daily basis is 30 grams. And that's if you care about things like muscle growth, recovery, etc. So looking at the bare minimum, unless you weigh less than 62 kilograms, 20 grams of protein just is not enough for a feeding for the majority of the population. And the majority of these meal replacement shakes aren't even using animal-based protein sources, they're using things like peas, and in some cases, soy. And if there's anything that we know about those sources of protein, is that you need to consume more of it to get the same effect because of an amino acid called leucine. So the protein content of drinks like this are kind of bum. But what if you don't care about protein? Is this still a good option to have instead of a meal? Let's look into it. Not quite the selection in Australia of meal replacement shakes compared to other places in the world. The man shake. Lose the beer gut without losing all the beers. A healthy meal in a shake. I have no problem with protein powders, but the second you put meal on a powder, that's where we're gonna fall out. I have many arguments as to why we shouldn't have meal replacement shakes, one of which being drinking meals kind of reminds me of a dystopian future, a bit like in the Matrix when they're eating sludge, getting the nutrition in through that. But when it comes to my biggest issue with meal replacement shakes, it's gotta be this. Does that look like 10 meals to you? Because to me, that looks like a bag of flipping powder. So imagine you've got children. If you don't, chances are you're probably gonna have some in the future. And they say to you, Daddy, Daddy, I'm hungry. Can I have something to eat? You go, of course. Why not have some carrots? Fantastic idea. Your child gets to pick up something they can chew. Fiber, nutrition, masticating. And no, that isn't something you do get in your cock out. That's the act of chewing. From a psychological standpoint, over hundreds of thousands of years of evolution, we've got food, we've chewed it, we've swallowed it, we've enjoyed it, we've held it. What kind of father do you think I would be if instead of giving my child carrots, have that little Timmy, enjoy your carrot juice. Oh, but dad, I wanted something to eat. That is food, you bigot. Oh, wow, thanks for lunch, dad. In other contexts, you would have to be insane to consider liquid as a meal. You bypass all the things that we get pleasure out of when it comes to eating, eating. That is drinking. And if you're gonna drink something and call it a meal, you are insane. And you are heading straight forward to an eating disorder. And guess who's gonna pick up all those little habits? Little Timmy and the rest of your kids. Maybe not Huel, but we all know that those meal replacement companies are doing something in particular. Can you smell that? Are we in Egypt? Because it smells kind of pyramidy around here. 10 years ago, I get a message from one of my rugby teammates' wives. I read it, she goes, James, we need to talk. I go, oh my God. She's divorcing Paul. I went and I met her on my lunch break from personal training. I sit down with her, I go, is everything okay? She then tries to sell me Isogenics meal replacement shakes to sell to my clients. And then she sells to me that if I get those clients onto it, then they get their friends onto it, I'll get kickback from the whole thing. Of course, people are incentivized for you to change your diet. Oh, what's that? Food? No wonder you're fat. You need to be having meal replacement shakes. That's the, re yeah, you should be drinking your meals. Not to mention other companies. What do you think they're doing? When putting together the ingredients for a meal replacement shake, you're gonna get the ingredients from all the cheapest suppliers of flax seeds and oils and whatever. You're gonna put it together and try and make the biggest amounts of profit margins so you can pay people to endorse your product. And they're gonna go, oh yeah, that meal replacement shake's great. I, I actually lost weight because of it. they're getting paid to say it. Are you out of your damn mind? Drinking meals instead of eating, are you crazy? 
That's going backwards as a civilization. We haven't gone that far backwards since we got rid of the Concorde. Oh, but James, I haven't got time to eat. Listen, stop making it out that your employer is like a concentration camp in North Korea. You are legally obliged to have a lunch break. I believe it's every five hours you're entitled to 30 to 60 minutes. If they're not giving you that, they are breaking the law. But yet you've got enough time to scroll on TikTok. You've got enough time to bash a wank out in the toilets of work, but suddenly when it comes to eating, you don't have time. And let me tell you this, young Jim, if you do not have enough time to eat food on a daily basis, Nutrition is the least of your problems. Even Molly May will agree. We all have 24 hours in a day. You're looking for this fat loss miracle pill that you could have, but let's be honest, all of us, we buy pill supplements, we take them for a couple of days and <coughs> can't swallow them anymore. So suddenly this miracle fat loss drink arrives and you're like, wow, this overpriced bag of nutritiously good food, this could be what saves my life. I don't need to go to the gym or eat better or just push through hunger pangs. I can just drink this forever. You're an idiot if you think that's the case. Apparently each bag of this has got the protein of 50 eggs, the calcium of 10 glasses of milk, the fiber of 40 slices. Remove yourself from the context, right? If your nan was like, oh, I've stopped eating food, like milk, eggs, and bread, and instead I'm drinking powder, you'd say to her, she's mental. Imagine if you had a dog sit around your house and they go, oh, don't feed the dog food anymore. Let's just give it a shake. You'd go, get away from my dog. But yeah, when it comes to you, you think, oh yeah, there's more nutrition. In if you really cared that much about nutrition, you would buy frozen vegetables instead of fresh. Do you know that? Frozen vegetables, because they're frozen at source, they retain more nutrition than the fresh alternatives. Yet we're kind of led to believe it's the other way around. Exactly, because you've been brainwashed by big supplement. Don't eat meals, have a shake instead. Disclaimer, there is a small cohort of people where I would permit weight loss shakes. Over to the whiteboard. I've been a personal trainer 10 years and this is how I make the decision. Are you going to die? If yes, meal replacement shakes might be an option. Bariatric surgery could be an option. Getting jabbed with a Zempic could be an option. But if you answered no to that, the answer is stop being a prat. Somewhere along the line, some marketing department thought, how can we sell filtered milk, which is protein powder, and get to more desperate, gullible people that need more help and will spend their money more desperately than anyone else. And you know what they said? Let's reframe protein shakes, which are a fantastic option, especially post-workout, to get the nutrients in that you need. Because when you train in the gym and you train hard, you are breaking down tissue that needs to regenerate and you need protein for that to occur. Now, protein shakes can be cost-effective, but the main benefit of it is if you do return back to the workplace, and you wanna get a protein feeding in after a workout, which doesn't actually have to be as soon after the workout as you think, you can go into the office, shake a protein shake, 25 grams of protein. If you're slightly bigger, obviously a bit more, someone like me, obviously 35 grams plus. Because the alternative is, if you were to shake a chicken breast at 2 p.m. in the office in the afternoon, everyone would think you were a knob. But this is a protein shake. This is a supplement that goes on top of your existing diet of actual foods so that it contains more protein. The second you replace foods, with powders, you and I are gonna fall out because you've got to set an example for yourself, for the people around you. And the second you swap meals for shakes, you're going in the wrong direction. And looking at the state of the world, someone's got to be a role model for the kids, you especially. So sort your damn life out, sort your damn nutrition out, eat your damn vegetables. Set an example for the little ones. Meal replacement shakes. I'm pissed off with the companies that make them. I'm pissed off with you for considering buying them.